Logitos o Theosimon Pandutenin ke aikes du seonas tone onon. Amen. Glory to you, our God. Glory to you, heavenly King, Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, everywhere present and filling all things. Treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and dwell in us. Cleanse us of every stain and save our souls, O gracious one. Amen. Agios o Theos, agios iskeros, agios tarantos o leis tonimas. Holy God, holy mighty, holy moral, have mercy on us. Agios o Theos, agios iskeros, agios tarantos o leis tonimas. Doxa Patrike, Io ke Io Pneumati ke Nin ke Ai ke Sion as Tone Onon Amen. Panagia Tria Seleisoni Mas, Kyrie Lasti Samarti Esimon, Despota Sikhoi Sonomi Esimin, Agia Episkipsi Kyrie Sati Sastini Esimon, Eni Kanton Omatosum. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. So, sir, keep the law, so 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 keep the και το σών φιλάτων δια του Σταυρού Σου πολίτευμα. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Lifted up on a cross by your free will, Christ God, grant mercy to the new commonwealth that bears your name. Gladden our faithful rulers by your power, giving them victory over their adversaries. May your alliance be for them a weapon of peace and invisible standard. Και νυν και αίκες σε όνας των αιώνων αμήν. Προστασία φοβερά και ακατέσχυνται μη παρήθεις αγαθήτες και εσύ εσύ μόν πανήμι και θεωτόκε. Στήριξαν ορθοδόξαν πολιτείαν, σώζεσαι και έλασσα βασιλεύειν και χωρίγει αυτή σου ανώθεν την νίκην, διότι έτε και στον Θεόν μόνοι ευλογημένοι. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Et i dom et ai per ton efsavon, ko orthodoxon hrutsiano. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Again, we pray for Archbishop Alexis and all our brotherhood in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. O te eli, mon ke philanthropos theosi parhis, ke sildoxan an apembo mento, patrike to ayo ke diu pinev matinin, ke ai ke istu se. Amen. In the name of the Lord, Father, give the blessing. Glory to the holy and consubstantial life giving and undivided Trinity, always now and forever and ever. Amen. Doxa nepsis is the whole kepigisari in anthropis of the Kia, glory to God and the highest and the earth is good will to man. Doxa nepsis is the whole kepigisari in anthropis of the Kia, O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall show for your praise. Κύριε τα χείλη μου ανοίξες και το σώμα μου αναγγελεί την ένεσή σου. Κύριε τι επλήνθησαν οι θλιβοντές με πολύ επαναστήταν και επί με πολύ λέγω στην ψυχή μου και στη σωτηρία αυτού εν το Θεό αυτού. But you, O Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts up my head. I cry out to the Lord in a loud voice and from his holy mountain he healed me. Εγώ δε κοιμήθην και ύπνωσαν εκ της εγκέφτει ότι Κύριος αν την υψέτη μου μου φοβηθήσουμε από μεριάδων λόγων των κύκλωσαν επί τεθένων μεν μη. Arise, O Lord, and save me, my God, for you have stricken all who hate in me without cause. You have shattered the sinner's teeth. This deliverance is the Lord upon your people. Be your blessings for me. I lay down and slept, and I walk, for the Lord will be my help. Κύριε, εμεί το θυμό σου, Αλέξη, με μερδέτει ο γη σου παιδεύσει με ότι τα βέλη σου ανεπάγει σάρμη και επεστήριξα σε πεμέτη χείρα σου. Ουκέ στη ίαση σε τη σαρκή μου από προσώπου τη οργή σου, ουκέ στη ρίνη τη οστέη μου από προσώπου των αμαρτιών μου. Ότι η ανομία μου υπερήρεν την κεφαλή μου, ως η φορτίον βαρύ ευαρύθησαν επί με εμάς, ως καν πικάν στέντς εφέστερην, because of my folly. A stupid and exhausting wreck, a stumble morning all the day. My loins were burning with fever for my life, the total mockery, and there is no soundness in my flesh. I was crushed and deeply afflicted, I roared with the groaning of my heart. O Lord, all my longing is known to you, my groaning is no secret to you, my heart races, my strength has left me, and even the light of my eyes has failed me. My friends and companions approached and stood by, while my closest kinsmen kept their distance. And those who sought my life were egged on, while those who wished me ill spoke lies, plotting deception all the day. Εγώ δε ως οικοφός σου κήκον, και ως οι άλλαλος σου κανοίγουν το στόμα αυτού, και γενόμενος οι άνθρωπος σου κακούν, και ούκ έχουν το στόμα τη αυτού ελεγμούς, ότι επί σύ, Κύριε, ήλπισα, σύς ακούσε, Κύριο Θεός μου, ότι είπων. Μήποτε επιχειρώσει μη εχθροί μου, και το σαλευθύν επόδας μου, επ' εμέ, μαγαλωρημόνησαν. 
ότι εγώ ει μάστιγα έτοιμο και οι άλλοι δόν με ενωπιών μου στη διαπαντό, ότι την ανομία μου εγώ αναγγελώ και με ρημνήσω υπέρ τη αμαρτία μου. Those who render an evil for good oppose me when I suffer justice, but my enemies survive and overpower me, and those who hate me without cause are multiplied. O Lord God, forsake me not, stay not far from me, hasten to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Me ekatalipis me kyrio theos mou, me apostis ape mou, proskesis tin voithia mou, kyrio et soterias mou. O God, my God, that dawn I rise to you, my soul has thirst for you, and how my flesh has hunger for you. Ούτως αν το Αγιό Απτής του εν δίνει την δυναμή σου και την δόξα σου ότι κρίσουν το λεό σου πεζοάς το χείλιο μου επινέσους εσύ. So shall I bless you as long as I live and lift up my hands and call upon your name. My soul shall be filled with the choice of spirit and joyful lips will praise your name. Η έμνη μόνη βόσο επί της τρομνής σου εν της όρτας εμελέτων εσείς ε, ότι έγινε ήθες βοηθός μου και εν της σκέπτων τερίγος αγαλιάσουμε. My soul clings to you, and your right hand holds me up. But as for those who sought my life in vain, they may be sink into the depths of the earth and be given over to the sword, the prey of jackals they shall be. O the vassalers of Antisus, the Pithoti, O Penithis, the Pass of Nune, and after all, in a fragile storm, a London Adica. I meditate, and on you throughout the early watches, that you became and for me the help and one that in the shelter of your wings I will find delight. My soul clings to you, and your right hand holds me up. Δόξα Πατρί και Υιό και Αγιο Πνεύματι και Νύν και Άγι και Σιώνας των αιώνων αμήν. Αλληλούια, 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 Δόξα Σε ο Θεός, Λόγια Μέρση, Λόγια Μέρση, Λόγια Μέρση, Glory to the Father and to the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and always and forever and ever, αμήν. Κύριε ο Θεός Σωτηρίας, μη μέρα σε και έκραξα και νυχτή εναντίον Σου, εις ελθέ των οποίων σε προσευχή μου, κοινοτού Σου στην δεησή μου, ότι επλύστη κακόνη ψυχή μου και η ζωή μου το άδει ήγησε, προσελογίστη μετά το καταβενόντων εις λάκων, εγενήθινος η άνθρωπος αβοήθητος, ανεκρής ελεύθερος. Ο σοι τραυματίε καθεύδονται σαν τάφο, ο νου και μνής της έτη, και αυτοί εκ της χειρός σου απόστησαν. Εν θεν Your anger was a burden upon me, you poured your billows over me. You took my friends away from me, you made me loathsome to them. I was closed in, I could not escape. My eyes grew dim with distress. I cried out to you, O Lord, all the day I stretched out my hands to you. But will you work wonders for the dead, or can physicians raise them up to sing your praise? Does anyone sing your love in the grave, or your truthfulness in the midst of perdition? Are your marvels ever known in darkness, or your justice in the land of oblivion? And yet, O Lord, I cried out to you, and to you my prayer shall rise at dawn. In a ti, Kiri, apothis ti psychi mu, apostrefis to prosopos ape mu, phtochosi mi ego, ke en kopis ek neotitos mu, ipsothis de ta pirnothin ke ekseporithin. Epe me de ilthon eorgesu, e feverismiso exetaraxame, e kiklosseme, o si idor oli ti nimera periesko me ama. You have distance from me, friend and neighbor, and my acquaintances, so wretched am I. O Lord, God of my salvation, day and night I cried out before you. Let my prayer reach up to you. Lend your ear to my request, O Lord. Ευλογή ψυχή μου τον Κύριον και πάντα τα εντός μου το όνομα του Άγιον αυτού. Ευλογή ψυχή μου τον Κύριον και μη επαναθάνω πάση σαν τα ποδόσεις αυτού. Who pardons all your sins and heals all your infirmities, who ransom your life from corruption and crowns you with his love and mercies. Το εν είπε πλόντα εν αγαθείς την επιθυμία σου, εν εκκινηθήσετε ως έκ το ενιώτη σου. Ποιον ελλημοσύνο ο κυρίω και κρίμα πάση τη αδικημένη εγνώριση τη οδού αυτού του Μωσή τη Ιη Ισραήλ τα θελήματα αυτού. The Lord is the one of compassion and mercy, long suffering, manifold love. His contention is not forever, nor will his anger always last. He has not dealt with us as our sins in men, nor does he repay our evil deeds. Ότι κατά το ύψο του ουρανού από τη γη σε κρατέω και κύριο το έλεο αυτού επί τη προηγουμένω αυτών. Καθώ ο λαπέχο σε έναν ατολέα παντεσβόνε μάκρυ να φεμπών τη ανομία ημών. As the kind as a father is to his children, so is the Lord to those who fear him. For he himself knows well how we were formed, remembers we were only made of dust. Άνθρωπο ο Σιχόρτο ημέρα αυτού, ο Σιάνθο του Αγρού του Σαξανθήσει. Ότι πνεύμα τη ήλθε εν αυτό και ούχη πάρξη, και ούχη επιγνώστη έτη των τόμων αυτού του δέλειου, στο κυρίω αυτό Ιόνο, ω το Ιόνο από τι προηγουμένω αυτών. And his justice is upon the children of children of those who keep his covenant and remember his laws to obey them. The Lord has established his throne in heaven over all things, his kinship is supreme. And for it to turn on Pandas the Angeli of the Dinatis, he be on the slogan of the two of us, this one is the one of two. Bless the Lord all you, his powers, his attendants, who obey his will. Bless the Lord all his works in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord of my soul. 
Bless the Lord, O my soul, in every place of His dominion. Κύριε Ισάκουσον τη προσευχή με νότσε την Δεϊσίμεν τη αληθεία σου, Ισάκουσο με τη δικαιοσύνη σου και μη εισέλθει ει κρίση μετά του δούλου σου, ότι ου δικαιωθεί σε τον οποίο σου παζών. Ότι κατεδίωξαν ο εχθρό την ψυχή μου, εταπείνωσαν ει γη τη ζωή μου, εκαθισέ με εν σκοτεινή ίσω νεκρού αιώνο και οικηδία σαν επεμέτω πνεύμα μου, εν εμή εταράχτη η καρδία μου. Εμνή στην ημερών αρχαίων, εμελέτε σα επάσε τη έργη σου, εμπίμα ει των χειρό σου εμελέτων. Διεπέτασα προ τα σχήρα μου η ψυχή μου ω γη ανιδρώση. Make haste to answer me, O Lord, my spirit has failed me. Turn not your face away from me, lest I be like those in the pit. Grant that I may hear your steadfast love, Adon, for I have placed my hope in you. O Lord, teach me the way I should go, for I have lifted up my soul to you. O Lord, deliver me from my enemies, it is to you that I have fled. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on a straight path. For the sake of your name, O Lord, you will keep me alive. In your righteousness, you will deliver me from affliction, and in your loving kindness, you will destroy my enemies and bring to naught all those who oppress me, for I am your servant. O Lord, hear my prayer. In your truthfulness, give heed to my plea, and in your righteousness, answer me. May your good spirit lead me on a straight path. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and always and forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, 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 doxa si o Theos. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, God. Alleluia, 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 doxa si o Theos. Y el pisimon kirie doxa si. En erini tu kiriu dei thomen. Kirie eleison. For pe heavenly peace and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For peace in the whole world, the stability of God's holy churches, and for the oneness of all, let us pray to the Lord. Have mercy. Prepare to our episcopi mon Alexiu to to meu presbiteriu to San Christo the Aconius Pandos to Clipper to Lau to Kiriu the Eleison. For our country, the president, and all those in public service, let us pray. Pray to the Lord, have mercy. For the holy and great Church of Christ, this holy metropolis, this city and parish, for every city and land, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. For a pair of crassias, aeron e furias ton carpontis, is que coronet e col to kiri ude. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for those who are sick or suffering in captivity, and for their safekeeping, let us pray to the Lord. Have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, and from the peril of the coronavirus against us, let us pray to the Lord. Have mercy. For our brethren, those who lead the fight against the coronavirus, the doctors, the medical workers, and the scientists, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Andi lavu sos on eleison kedi filuxone mas theosti sichari ti. Kiri eleison. Tis panaia sachran du peravoi meni sendoks o des pini simon te apot de formarias meta pande tora yun avsan de self to skali lus ke pas antin zo inimon Christo te operato meta. All glory, honor, and worship are your due, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. God is the Lord, and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Exomologiste to Kyrio, ke epikaliste to onoma to agion aftu. Θεός Κύριος και πεφάνεν ημιν, ευλογημένος ο ερχόμενος εν ονοματι Κύριου. All the nations surround me, but in the name of the Lord I defended myself against them. God is the Lord, and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Para Kyrio genetrophikes tithomastien ophthalmisimon, Theos Kyrios ke pepanen imin, Evlogimenos o erchomenos en onomati Kyriou. 
Exipsus catilfes so es blacknos. Tafin cate dexo trimeron. Ina imas elefteros is ton bathon. Iso ike anastasis imon kiri. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, of the Holy Spirit. You descended from on high, O compassionate one, and condescended to be buried for three days, so that from the passions you might set us free, our life in resurrection, O Lord, glory be to you. Genin te ai keisa se onas tone onon amin, enti genisit in parte ni an epilaxas, enti kimisit un cosmu u kateli peste otoke. Metestis prostin zoin, mitiri parpusatis zois. Ketes presbiestes es litrumeni, ek thanatutas psychas imon. Etiket, in the name of Kiriu, the eighth woman. Kiriu, the eighth woman. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Ότι σων του κράτους και σου στην Βασιλεία και δυναμίς και δόξα του Πατρός και του Ιού και του Πνεύματος νυν και αι και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. Ανέστης εκ νεκρών η ζωή των απάντων και άγγελος φωτός τες γίνεξ Παύσαστε των δακρύων της Αποστόλης Ευαγγελίσαστε. Κράξατε ανυμνούσε ότι ανέστη Χριστός ο Κύριος. Ο ευδοκίσας ως Θεός Θεός το γένος των ανθρώπων. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, after having in truth risen from the tomb, you commanded the venerable women to proclaim your arising to the apostles as it is written. And Peter ran quickly and came to the sepulchre. And beholding the light in the tomb, he was quite amazed. Also he observed that the grave clothes were lying alone in the sepulchre without the divine body. And believing, he cried aloud, Glory be to you, Christ our God, our Savior, you, for you save all people, for you are the Father's radiance. <laughs> Αναβοήσουν Δαβίδ της υπαρούσα εορτή, Ήν ανύμνης αφησήν εν το βαβλιβλίο των ψαλμών, Ως τη γατέρα Θεόπαιδα και παρθένων. Μετέστης αυτήν, 
προσθέσει και την μονά. Χριστό ο εξαπτή ανευσπορά γεννήθη. Δια του το χέρωση μητέρε και θυγατέρε και νύφη Χριστού βόσε χέρεοι μετάστασα προς τα νάνο βασιλεία. Human being sealed your tomb, O Savior, an angel rolled the stone away from the door. The women saw that you were resurrected from the dead, and they announced the good tidings to the disciples in Zion, that you, the life of all, resurrected, and that the bonds of death have been loosed. Glory to you, O Lord. Δόξα Πατρί και Υιό και Αγίου Πνεύματι, τα μοίρα της ταφής έγινε και σκομίσασε. Φωνής αγγελικής εκ του ταφού οικούν, παύσαστε των δακρύων και αντιλήπης χαράν κομίσαστε. Κράξατε ανυμνούσε ότι ανέστη Χριστός ο Κύριος. Ο ευδοκίσας ως Θεός, Θεός το γένος των ανθρώπων. Both now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. The Honorable Choir of the All-Wise Apostles miraculously came, O August Theotokos, to bury your immaculate holy body with dignity, joining them the host of holy angels extolled you, with solemnity they sang in praise your assumption which we faithfully celebrate ευλογητός η κύριε διδαξόν με τα δικαιώματα σου τον αγγέλον ο δήμος κάτε πλάγι ορών σε νεκρής λογιστέντα του θανάτου δε σωτήρ την ισχύν καθελώντα και συνε αυτό τον Αδάμε γύραντα και εξάδου πάντα σε ελευθερώσαντα. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Why do you mingle the ointments with your tears full of pity? O women disciples, thus the angel who was shining in the tomb cried to the myrrh-bearing women, See for yourselves the empty tomb and understand that the Savior has risen from the sepulchre. <laughs> Λίαν πρωί μυροφορεί έδραμον προς το μνήμα σου θρενολογούσε αλλά πέστη προς αυτάς ο άγγελος και είπε θρήνω ο καιρός πέβατε μην κλαίτε την Ανάσταση δε Αποστολής είπατε Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes When the myrrh-bearing women had come with their spices to your sepulchre, O Savior, they heard the voice of an angel clearly speaking to them, 
Why do you account among the dead the one who lives? For as God, he has risen from the sepulchre. Doxa Patri, ke io, ke agio pneumati, proskinumen patera, ke ton tu, tu ion te ke to agion pneuma, tin agian triada, en mia ti usia, Sin ti serafim krazan desto agios, agios, agios i kyrie. Both now and ever into the ages of ages, amen. Giving birth to the giver of life, O virgin, you delivered Adam from sin. And to Eve you have rendered joy in place of sorrow. He who from you became incarnate God and man has directed to life him who fell from it. Alleluia, 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 doxa si o Theo. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 doxa si o Theo. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Tis Panagia, Sachranti, Pervoi, Mene, Sendok, Sudis, Pini, Simon, Teotok, Pertano, Marias, Meta, Pandu, Tono, Yurun, Av, Sandes, Avtus, Kali, Luzke, Pas, Antin, Zuinimon, Christo, Teotok, Parato, Methon. For blessed is your name and glorified is your kingdom of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. The mere burial women came to the grave to the giver of life, seeking the immortal master among the dead. And receiving good tidings with joy from the angel, they reported to the apostles as Christ God has risen, grant in the world great mercy. Εκλεωτητός μου, ο εχθρός με πειράζει, τεσίδωνες φλέγη με, εγώ δε πεπιθός, εν σοι κύριε τρόπου με τούτο. Μετεκέικες ο ζωιάν, πικάμες δε κράς, εις πιφόρη της πλάτα. For Christ will also cut their necks with their car in sore of a torment. Doxa Patrike, O Kiaio Pneumati, In Kiai Geisus Ionas Ton Ionon Amin, Agio Pneumati Ta Zin Ta Panda, Fos Ek Fotos Theos Megas, Sim patrim numen afto ke to logo. With the fear of you, Lord, let my heart be covered and be humble minded, lest it be exalted and fall from you, all compassionate Master. He who has set his hope on the Lord will not fear. When he will judge and punish all things with fire. Glory to the Father and to the Son of the Holy Spirit, both now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. In the Holy Spirit, every divine man sees and speaks as a prophet. He does sublime miracles, praising the one God in three persons. For though it is three lights, yet the Godhead rules as monarch. Eke kaxasi kyrie proskes, kline mutous uvonde, ke katharon prisares me apoton en thede. Everyone will set in the earth 
his mother, will again return, thirst to receive torments of honors for his life's actions. Doxa patrike ioke agio pneumati, keninke ai, ke istus eonas ton neonon ami. Agio pneumati, theologia monastris agia, ο πατήρ γαράν αρχός εξου επί ο Υιός αχρόνος και το πνεύμα σύμμορφων σύθρονων εκ πατρός Behold what is so good or so delightful as for brothers to reside together. For in this has the Lord promised life for everlasting. He who so adorns the illies of the field commands not to be concerned about one's own raiment. Glory to the Father and to the Son of the Holy Spirit, both now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. In the Holy Spirit, the unifying cause, are all things sustained in peaceful coexistence. This is so, for he is God with the Father and the Son, being truly one in essence. Βασιλεύσι Κύριος εις τον αιώνα ο Θεός σου σιών εις γενεάν και γενεάν. The Lord shall reign forever, your God, O Zion, to all generations. Εν η ψυχή μου τον Κύριον, βασιλεύσι Κύριος εις τον αιώνα ο Θεός σου σιών, is Geneon ke Geneon. Tin dis presvia sa kimi ton Theotokon ke prostasie sa metathe ton Elpida, tafos ke nekros Iesou ekratisen, os gar zoiis mitera pros tin zoi metestisen, o mitra nikisa sa iparteno. O mitra nikisa sa iparteno. When you had risen from the grave, you also raised those who had died and resurrected Adam. And now Eve is celebrating your resurrection and the ends of the world keep festival for your rising from the dead, O most merciful. O most merciful. Το του άδος κυλεύσας βασίλεια και νεκρούς αναστήσας μακρόθυμε, γυναιξή μυροφόρηση νύντισας, αντιλήπης χαράν κομισάμενος και αποστόλης σου εμήνησας απ' της νίκης σύμβολας, σωτήρ μου ζωοδότα. Και την κρίση νεφώτισας, φιλάνθρωπε, δια τούτο και ο κόσμος συγχαίρει την ανεκρόν εγέρσι σου πολιέλε. Η ανεκρόν εγέρσι σου πολιέλε. Ανάγκες του ανηθού και μου μωρέει τα πόλη, Μάρτης αγαθόνικος εντός βουτχήμ ζωτήκος ζήνωνος και ο πρέπειος ακίνδυνος και σεβιάνος. Και αυτή η μέρα μνήμη της Αγίας Μάρτυρος Ανθούσης και Αθανασίου Επισκόπου του Βαπτίσμου της Αυτήν και Χαρισίμου και Νιωπήτου των Οικείων Αυτής. And this day we also commemorate the Holy Martyrs, Ιρήνιος, Ωρ και Ορόψης που died by the sword. By the decisions of your saints, O God, your mercy and save us. Amen. Ananes, pepikigmeni tin thia doxi, erakev kleis parthenem nimin su, Συνή γάγε το προσεφρο συνή του πίστου εξαρχούσι Μαρία. Με τα χωρών και την πάνω. Το σώδοντα μόνο γενή. Ενδόξο ότι δε δόξαστε. O wisdom of our God and his power that has created and is sustaining the universe. Reinforce your church, O Christ. 
preserving her unshaken and unmoved. For you alone are holy, O Lord, and you repose in your holy ones. Christus propheton ke enigmata, tis akosin ipefinan, tin ek parthenos su Christe. Vengos astra pisu os posethnon, exelepsete, ke ponisi avisos, En agaliase, ti dinamisu doxa philanthrope. O Christ, o sh I shall tell of your virtues, and of their beauty divine and ineffable, <laughs> as co-eternal and hypostatic radiance, you shone from glory eternal. And coming forth incarnate from the virgin's womb, you have risen as a sun on those in darkness and in the shadow of death. Halion pondo yenes, kiton and osteopir, tis trimerutafisu in proikonisma. Υποφήτης αναδίδεχτε σε σωσμένος γάρος και προϋπέ ποτό ασυνήσευό. Θύσωση μεταφωνής ενέσεως Κύριε. Counterposed against audacious ire in the furnace's fire in the love for God. May the fire cool as do while the air, while the ire it derided, counteracting in the midst of flames the musical organs with the three toned rational. God inspired liar, the three holy servants chanting, Lord our God, you are glorified, O God, of our fathers you are blessed. Enumen eblogumen ke proskinumen ton kirion, flogadros izos enos ios, Δησίβης δε καταφλέγουσαν, Άγγελος Θεού ο πανσθενής, Έδεξε πισή, ζωάρκη κίνδε πηγή, Εργάσατο την Θεοτόκον. Φθοράν θανάτου και ζωήν βριστάνουσαν της μέλπωσε, Τον δημιουργόν μόνον υμνούμεν λιλιτρωμένοι και υπερύψουμε εις πάντα στους αιώνας. Του Κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν, Κύριε Λαϊσό, ότι άγιωσι ο Θεός ημών και να γύσσα πάνω πάβη και συνδόξα να αναπέμπομεν το πατρί και το αιώ και το πνεύμα την ειν και αι και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Πάσα πνοή ενέσα το τον Κύριο. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Ενέσα το πνοή πάσα τον Κύριο. Let us pray to the Lord our God that we may be made worthy to hear the Holy Gospel. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom, let us stand, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, Lord. 
on the evening of that day, the first day of the week, the doors being shut, where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, even so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Now Thomas, one of the twelve, called the twin, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see in his hands the print of the nails, and place my finger in the mark of the nails, and place my hand in his side, I will not believe. Eight days later, his disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was with them. The doors were shut, but Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and put out your hand and place it in my side. Do not be faithless, but believing. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of the disciples, which are written, not written in this book. But these are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you may have life in his name. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Heaven be held the resurrection of Christ. Let us worship your holy Lord Jesus, the only Son as one. Your cross of Christ we venerate, and your holy resurrection we praise and glorify. For you are God, apart from you we know no other. We call upon your name. Come, O faithful, and let us venerate the holy resurrection of Christ. For behold, through the cross, joy has come to the whole world. Ever blessing the Lord, let us praise his resurrection. For heaven endured the cross for us, he destroyed death by death. Eleimon, eleison, el Theos, cada to mega eleos su, que cara do plithos to nictirmon su, exalipson to anomi mamu. Voice me thoroughly from my loneliness and cleanse me from my sin. O ti, ti nanomia mu ego ginosco, que amartia mu en opion mu esti dia pando. Against you only have I seen and done evil on your side, that you may justify in your words and overcome when you are judged. I do gar en anomia sin eliftin, que en amartia se quisis se me imitir mu. Behold, you love truth, you showed me the unknown and secret things of your wisdom. Radis me sopo ke kazaritisomen, plinis me ke perchumonia lefkantisomen. Arkutis me agalia sin ke frosinin, agalia son de ostea te tapinomena. Turn your face from my sins and blot out all my transgressions. Cardian catharan ktis on enemy of theos, ke pnevma efthes egenis on entis egatismu. Do not cast me away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Apodos mi tina galia si tu sotiriu su, ke pnevma ti gemonikos tiri. I will teach transgressions your ways, and your godly shall turn back to you. Prisame, exema, don o Theos, o Theos, ti sotirias mu, agaliase te iglosa mu, ti dikeosin in su. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. O ti thelisas, ti siane, Δοκάν ολοκαυτώματα ουκεδοκίσι. Sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, 
a broken and humble heart God will not despise. Agathinon, Kyrie, and the Evdokia Sutin Sion, Ke Kodomithito Tatihi, Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness. With offense and whole burnt offering. Tote anisu sin epitothesia stirriosu moschus. Eleison me o theo. Doxa patri ke io ke agio pneumati teston apostolo presvies eleimon exalipson tapli. But now and ever and to the ages of ages, amen, and the intercessions of the Theotokos, O Lord of mercy, blot out my many offenses. Ελέησον με ο Θεός κατά το μέγα σου και κατά το πλήθος των νυχτήρμων σου εξάλειψον το ανώμημα μου. Αναστάσω Ιησούς από του τάφου καθώς πρωί O God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Look upon your world with mercy and compassion. Raise the Orthodox Christians in glory and send down upon us your rich mercies. Through the intercessions of our most pure Lady, the Theotokos, and our Virgin Mary, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable and glorious prophet of Father John the Baptist, of the holy, glorious, and praiseworthy apostles, our fathers among the saints, the great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, Athanasius, Cyril, and John, the merciful patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas, Bishop of Mira, Spiridon, Bishop of Trimethus, Nectarius, and Pentapolis, the wonder workers of the Holy Glorious Great Martyrs, George, the Victorious, Demetrius, the Medo Valitis, Theodore of Tyre, Theodore, the Commander, Obanas, the wonder worker, the higher martyrs of Alambos and Lefterios, the Holy Glorious Victorious Martyrs, the Holy Glorious Great Martyr, and all audible Ephemia, the Holy and Glorious Martyrs, Thecla, Barbara, Anastasia, Catherine, Kitty, Akifo, Tani, Marina, Paraskevi, and Irene, of our Holy and God bearing fathers of St. Christopher the Martyr, the Holy and Righteous Ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of the Holy Martyr Agathonikos, Holy Martyr Anthusi, Athanasius, the Higher Martyr and Bishop of Tarsus, New Martyrs Emmanuel and John, whose memory we keep today. And of all your saints, we beseech you, only most merciful Lord, hear us sinners who pray to you and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Alei kikturimis ke philanthropia tu moni yunusu iu metavlojitos i sinto pana iu ke gato ke sop supnebati nin ke ai ke istu se onas ton e onon. In teo tokon ki mi tera tu fotosin in misti mondes megalino men. Megalini psichi mu ton girion, ke i galia se do pnevma mu epito theo to sotirimu. In di mi o tera ton cheruvim, ke endok sotera na singri. 
την αδιαφθόρος θεολόγων τεκούσα την όντως θεοτόκον σε μεγαλύνομαι. Ο Χιγές ριγάρτε τελώς τέις of his maid servant for before him for all generations will call me blessed. Great and in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater be than compare than the seraphim. You with that corruption gave birth to God the world, and that truly theotokos you do we magnify. For he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name, and his mercy is on those who fear him from generation to generation. Great and in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly theotokos, you do we magnify. A peace and Kratos and Bregionia too, the Scorpius and Epiripanos, the Ania Cardias of too. Την τιμή ο θέραν των χερουβείμ και ενδόξω θέραν ασυγκρίθος των σεραφείμ. Την άδεια πτώρος θεολόγων θεκούσαν την όντως θεοτόκον σε μεγαλύνομεν. Καθήλα δυνάστας από θρόνων και ύψος σε ταπεινούς, πεινώντας σε νέπλης εν αγαθών και πλουτούντας εξ απέστειλε καινούς. Την τιμιωτέρα των χερουβείμ και ενδοξωτέραν ασυγκρίτως των σεραφείμ. Την αδιαφθόρος θεολόγων τεκούσαν την όντως θεοτόκον σε μεγαλύνομαι. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham and to his seed forever. Great and in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the world, and are truly theotokos, you do we magnify. Εγένε πάσε μακαριζόν μεν σε την μόνη Θεοτόκο. Νε νίκην τε της φύσε ως η όρη εν σι παρθένε άκραντε παρθένε βιγαρτόκος και ζωή προμνηστεύεται θάνατος, ή μετά το κονπαρθένος, και μετά θάνατον ζώσα, σώζησα ή, Θεότο και την κληρονομία σου. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Tis Panagia, Sachran, du Père of Loi, Yemeni, Sandok, Sud, Espini, Simon, Teatok, Prova, Maria, Smeta, Pan, Dottora, Yunu, Naf, Sandes, Self, Tus, Kali, Luske, Pas, Santin, Suinimon, 
For all the powers of heaven praise you and give you glory to the Father and to the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Holy is the Lord our God. Ipsute Kirion ton Theonimon, ke proskinite to ipopodio ton podon aftu. Oti agios esti. The doors where the apostles were. Being close shut, O oh Master, you enter and you gave them peace, and when you blew upon them, you gave them the Holy Spirit, and enjoined them concerning Binding the sins and losing them, and coming eight days later, you showed your sight, and your hands as tangible proof to Thomas. With him we also cried aloud. You are my Lord and our God. Apostoli Ecperato, sin astres tentes en thade, esti manito porio, qui depse muto soma. Que si e que temo, pare la veme tu pneuma. Anastas ek nekron, 
Τον κόσμο ηλευθέρω σα εκ τη δουλειά του αλωτρίου. Ω συκτήρμο και φιλάνθρωπο. Praise God in his saints, praise him in the ferment of his power. Lord, even if the Judeans you have buried as a lifeless body in a grave, yet the God of soldiers was watching over you as thou a sleeping king. And with the seal they secure the tomb as a treasure house of life. But you are ours, and unto our souls granted incorruptibility. Praise him for his mighty acts, praise him according to the abundance of his greatness. Lord, as a weapon against the adversary, you had given us your holy cross, gripped with fear, he trembles, unable to endure to look upon his might. Because it raises the dead, and death itself each neutralize. For this reason we adore your three day burial and rising again. And it the afternoon, and it hopes something goes, and it the afternoon, and salterio que quitaram. O angelo su kirie, o tin anasta sin kirixas, tus men filakas e fobise. Ta de ginia e fonise leun, tisitite to zonda metaton e kron, Ανέστη Θεός ουρ και την οικουμένη ζωή εδωρήσαθου. And flute, your domitian is glorious, all in heaven are jubilant. And the host of angels are joining us on earth as we rejoice celebrating it and sing with exultant joy sacred funerary hymns to you, Mother of Christ our God, who is Lord of all, O holy and ever virgin lady. From hereditary judgment, you have delivered humanity. Ενίτε αυτόν εν την πάνω και χωρώ, ενίτε αυτόν εν την βάλει σε βίχη, ενίτε αυτόν εν την βάλει σε λαλαγμού, πάσα πνοή εν εσάτω των κυριών. Τι εν δόξο κοιμήσει σου, ουρανίε παγάλονται, και αγγέλων γέγι θετά στρατεύματα, πάσα η γη δε φρένεται, οδύσει εξόδιον, προσφωνούσα τη μητρή του των όλων δεσπόζοντος, απειρώγαμε, Παναγία Παρθένε ή το γένος των ανθρώπων ρισαμένη προγονικής αποφάσεως. Arise, O Lord, into your rescue in the ark of your holiness. From the ends of the earth arrived the all-holy and prominent Apostles to bury you by divine command, and when they saw you were taken up, 
from earth to the heights above. They rejoiced and sang the word that the archangel Gabriel said to you. Rejoice, you are God's holy chariot. Rejoice, the only woman who in childbirth united earth with the things on high. Como se queria toda a vida ali tem que o meu sentir-se a fim e que potes que lhe asso se some ne pito trono su ti zoini ti sa sa prozoin meta bebicas ti septi que me se suti na tanaton dori forunda su nangelon si arcon que diname on Apostolon profiton, que a pasis disclisios de homeno tu. Atirates palames tu i uso, dinamo monci disu, parthenum i tortion impen. Anes. Tava ptizer. 
of ages, amen. You are supremely blessed, O Virgin Theotokos, from through him who from you become incarnate, <coughs> whose cage taken prisoner, and Aram has been summoned back, the curse has been neutralized, and Eve has been liberated. Death has been put to death, and we have been brought to life. They are poor exalt, and we cry out, O Christ our God, you are blessed. So also was your good pleasure, glory to you. And <laughs> 
Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Amen. Amen. For the peace of the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For Archbishop Alexius, for the Honorable Presbyterate, for the Diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. For our country, for the president, and for all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for temperate, peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, and from the peril of the coronavirus against us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O oh God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, holy, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and the Virgin Mary with all the saints, God. let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and to the Son of the Holy Spirit, 
now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. <laughs> Give thanks to him, praise his name. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. En poli kiriu ton dinameon, en poli tu theu imon. Tes presvi estis Theotoku, so terso. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. For yours is the dominion and yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages. Agapa Kyrios tas pilasion hyper panda tas kinomata iako. So soni masiethu, awanastas eknekron, psalonasi alleluia. Glorious things were said concerning you, O city of God. O Son of God, risen from the dead, we sing to you, Alleluia. O Theos, e themelios en aftin iston eona. So, so ni masi etheu, o anastas ek nekron, psalon dasi, Alleluia. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, in your grace. Lord, have mercy. Tis Panagia, Sakran, you put a lay many sandoks with the Spinisimon, the Otok, Tramarias, Meta Pandantona, you don't have Sandes, after Scali, Luska Passantin, Suinimon, Christo to the Oparathomathon. For you, O God, are good and love mankind. You offer up glory to the Father and to the Son of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. My heart is ready, O God, my heart is ready. And your dormition, you did 
is not for sale. This world, O Theotokos, for as a mother of life, you have yourself passed into life, and by your prayers you deliver our souls from death. Wisdom attend. Come, let us worship and bow down before Christ. Save us, O Son of God, who did rise from the dead. We sing to you, Alleluia. So, Sonny Masia, the O Anastas, Ecnecron, Salon Dasi, Alleluia. Etimi cardia muthos, etimi cardia From on high you descended, O merciful Lord. You accepted the cross and three days in the tomb to free us from the bondage of sin. O our life in resurrection, glory to you, O Lord. Τι ανταποδώσω το Κυρίο, περί πάντων ανταπέδω και εμεί. Εν τη γεννήσι την Παρθενίαν εφύλαξας, εν τη κοιμήσι των κόσμων ουκατέλειπες Θεότο. Μετέστης προς την ζωή μη τήρ υπάρχουσα τη ζωή και τες πρεσβείες τεσές λυτρουμένοι εκ θανάτου τας ψυχάς Ποτήριον σωτηρίου λείψομεν και το όνομα Κυρίου επικαλέσομεν. Στον λέστες εξ αίματος οραϊζόμενος Κυρίο, παρήσασε το βασιλείου ουρανών Χριστοφόρε αηδίμε. Ο δεν σύνα σωματών και μαρτύρων χωρίες, άδυση τρισαίο και φρικτή μελωδία, διότι εσύ και εσύ έστεψες όσε τους δούλους σου. Made comely with garments woven from your venerable blood. You stand before the Lord, the King of heaven and earth, O famed martyr Christopher, with the choirs of angels and the martyrs you chant. Sing the thrice holy hymn. And most awesome praises, thus by your intercessions with God, save us, your servants. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. She is our vigilant intercessor. The Theotokos, our sure hope and protection, neither death nor tomb held any power over her. For as the mother of life, she was taken into life. 
by that very one who deigned to dwell in her ever virgin womb. Holy God, holy mighty, holy Πότε κυρίω το Θεό ημών, γνωστό εν τη Ιουδαίο Θεό, εν το Ισραήλ μέγα το όνομα αυτού. Σοφία. Προ Κορινθίου, πρώτη επιστολή Παύλου, το ανάγνωσμα. Αδελφοί, Θεού εσμεν συνεργοί. Θεού Γεώργιον, Θεού οικοδομίεστε. Κατά την χάρη του Θεού την δοθήσαμε ο σοφός αρχικτέκτων θεμέλιων τέθηκα. Άλλος δε επικοδομή, έκαστος δε βλέπε το πως επικοδομή. Θεμέλιον γάρ, άλλον ουδείς δύνατε, θύνε παρά των κείμενων, ως εστίν Ιησούς Χριστός. Ο δε της επικοδομή επί των θεμέλιων του των χρυσών, αργυρών λίθους τιμίους ξύλα, Χόρτον καλάμιν, εκάστου το έργον φανερόν γεννήσετε η μέρα γαρδιλώσι, ότι εν πυρή αποκαλύπτετε και εκάστου το έργον ο ποιον εστί το πυρ δοκιμάσει. Ήτιν ως το έργο μενή ο επικοδόμης εμείς τον λείψετε 
ήτι νοστο έργον κατακαΐσετε, ζημιωθήσετε, αυτός δε σωθήσετε, ούτος δε ως διάπυρος. Ουκ είδετε ότι ο ναός Θεού εστέ, και το Πνεύμα του Θεού εκείνε νημήν. Ήτις το ναόν του Θεού φθήρι, φθέρι τούτον ο Θεός. Ο γάρ ναός του Θεού, Άγιος εστίν, ήτιν εσέστε ημείς. Let us be attentive. Make your vows to the Lord our God and perform them. God is known in Judah, his name is great in Israel. The reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Corinthians. Wisdom, let us be attentive. Brethren, we are God's fellow workers. You are God's field, God's building. According to the grace of God given to me like a skilled master builder, I laid a foundation and another man is building upon it. Let each man take care how he builds upon it. For no other foundation can anyone lay than that which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Now, if anyone builds on the foundation with gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, straw, each man's work will become manifest, for the day will disclose it, because it will be revealed with fire, and the fire will test what sort of work each one has done. If the work which any man has built on the foundation survives, he will receive a reward. If any man's work is burned up, he will suffer loss, though he himself will be saved, but only as through fire. Do you not know that you are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy him, for God's temple is holy and that temple you are. Peace be to you, the readers. Hallelujah. 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 Wisdom, let us stand, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Εκ του γραφάματεων Αγίου Ευαγγελίου των Άγνωσμα προσκομέν. Δόξα σε Κύριε, δόξα σε Το καιρό εκείνο ενάγκασεν ο Ιησούς τους μαθητάς αυτού εν δίνε εις το πλειόν και προάγειν αυτόν εις το πέραν έως ου απολύσει τους όκλους και απολύσας τους όκλους ανέβη εις το όρος και τη διάν προσεύξαστε οψίαστε γενωμένης μόνος ειν εκεί το δε πλειόν ήδη μέσον της θαλάσσης ειν βασανισόμενον υπό των κυμάτων ειν γαρ εναντίος ο άνεμος τετάρτη δε φυλακή της νυκτός απήλθε προς αυτούς ο Ιησούς περιπατών επί της θαλάσσης και ειδώντες αυτών οι μαθητέ επί την θάλασσαν περιπατούτα εταράκθησεν λέγοντες ότι φαντασμά έστι και από του φόβου έκραξαν ευδέως δε ελάλησεν αυτής ο Ιησούς λέγον θα αρσείτε εγώ ημί μη βοβήστε Αποκριθήστε αυτό ο Πέτρος είπε, Κύριε, σύοι και λαυσόν με πρόσε έλθειν επί τη δατά. Ο δε είπεν έλθε και κατά βάς από του πλοίου ο Πέτρος περιεπάτησεν επί τα ύδατα έλθειν προς τον Ιησούν. Βλέπον δε τον άνεμον ισχυρόν εφοβήθη και αρξάμενος καταποντήσεστε, έκραξε λέγον, Κύριε σώσον με. Ευθέως δε ο Ιησούς εκτείνας την γύρα, επελάβε το αυτού και λέει αυτό, 
oligopiste isti edistasas, quem vanton afton isto plion, e copaseno animos, ide ento plio, el dondes prosequinis en afto, legondes alitos de uiosi, que dia perasandes, ilton istinin, yenisaret. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. At that time, Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go before him to the other side while he dismissed the crowds. And after he had dismissed the crowds, he went up into the hills by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone, but the boat by this time was out on the sea, beaten by the waves, for the wind was against them. And in the fourth watch of the night, he came to them walking on the sea. But when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified, saying, It is a ghost. And they cried out for fear, but immediately he spoke to them, saying, Take heart, it is I, have no fear. And Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, Bid me come to you on the water. He said, Come. So Peter got out of the boat and walked on the water and came to Jesus. But when he saw the strong wind, he was afraid. And beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand and called him, saying to him, O man of little faith, why did you doubt? And when they got into the boat, the wind ceased. And those in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly. You are the Son of God. And when they crossed over, they came to land at Genesaret. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good morning and welcome. I'm not going to read it in its entirety because it's in the liturgical guide, the Sunday Bulletin, but um, our hierarch, His Eminence Metropolitan Alexios, has <clears throat> always tried to support our federal, state, and local regulations along with the Centers for Disease Control. And I wish that you would take time to um, read it and reflect on it. In fact, I'd ask the ushers, who are all fully vaccinated, they agreed that to support one another, since everyone I know that's currently getting COVID has been vaccinated. Let me repeat that again. All the people, I know 12, that have gotten COVID in the last month have all been vaccinated. So our hierarch, our bishop, has asked us to follow the CDC guidelines, which is to wear our masks. Obviously, I'm speaking, but when I go out into the congregation, I'll have my mask on. Uh, but he's asked us to do that out of love and support. There are many compromised people, and especially young people. I think the guidelines say two years and up. It's very difficult for children to wear masks. And then also for those who have been compromised, those who haven't been vaccinated. But as a sign of support, our uh, parish leadership has decided they will wear their masks as an example that, as I look through the congregation, if you have a mask, I would ask that you wear it. If you choose not to, then try to distance. Not because you're a pariah, but because as we go along, and yes, the government just a few weeks ago said it was okay not to wear a mask if you were vaccinated and then they reversed it. But I think the day will come, and I've read some encouraging articles, that in the not so distant future, we will see this very much like the common cold. But until we get there, our leaders, our scientists, those who are concerned with public health, I think are doing their best job. And if they're not, let's pray that they do. That's our insurance. Our prayers can be answered. 
Certainly our prayers are needed today for so many things. Yes, last week we took up an appeal. I'm very proud of you. As a parish, a handful of parishioners donated over $1,000. And because yours truly works with the archdiocese, with our whole diocese, I was asked to solicit the support of every parish. There's 74 of us in the eight southeastern states that our bishop oversees. And while the highest was at 5,000 in one week, uh, the first day actually, last Sunday, uh, our total was quite significant if you look at the proportionality of it. With a handful of families supporting and gaining over a thousand dollars, the parish who was able to write the five thousand had been aware, like in the epistle lesson today, where Saint Paul was saying the foundation we build on. And that particular parish did not raise five thousand dollars out of the pockets of their individuals, but they had set aside money. The foundation of their parish, they made not necessarily in the man-made glittery objects of gold and silver, but they had a rainy day fund and they immediately added to what the parishioners uh, 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 offered and they rounded up. And so today, if you haven't had a chance to give and you don't, it's optional, I hope that you will contribute in the basket or even better, go home online and um, we will send that check to the Archdiocese so that it can relieve the people in Greece who are going through so many fires. His Eminence Metroise Alexis is currently in Greece. Last week we heard from the Sakas family. They had just gotten back, but they've seen the fires. But it's real for them. Is it real for us? We read about it. I put it on the back of the liturgical guide for today as a reminder. But because we're not in the fire, I'm not sure that our hearts really considered the plight. What about if we were in New England today? We just had some parishioners that got back, and they're getting ready to go again. One of my brother priests in New York did the unthinkable. He wrote early this morning to all of his parishioners, and he said, I really don't like doing this, but to stay safe, we're going to have to close our church because they're in the in the uh, direct target of uh, the Hurricane Henri. And so it's usually us that gets those scares and warnings, isn't it? And we do a good job, and we promote good practices to prepare if one does come. But our relatives and brethren in the Northeast haven't had a hurricane in 30 years. And so it, imagine with, I know in downtown New York, they had said it had already rained five inches, but imagine, you know, several uh, inches of rain in ground that was already wet. The flood capability is immense. And so people's foundations of their homes, coincidentally, since St. Paul was talking about the foundation of our own life in the church, Christ laid it but are we building with him? Yes, we do when we pray and we seek God's help for those in need. So while we're helping to build Christ's foundation, as St. Paul said, let us remember we are temples of the Holy Spirit. The temple of the Spirit of God resides in each of us, and we have power. We have resources and knowledge and look at the beautiful talents of, I think they're all ladies that made these. But in the past, we've had some men make the covers of love, the uh, prayer shawls, and they're gorgeous. And I'm not going to hold one up, but if you can see from where you're sitting, look at all those, I don't know, in crochet, is it called a stitch, the loops? What do you call those? But look at all the stitches. And some of them are all the same, and some of them are slightly different. What possessed that person to take time out? They're as busy as I or you. What did they have to give up to create that gift? I thank those. I don't know all the people who donated. I saw some people putting them on. I know Susan came yesterday and got us organized, and we thank her. 
And it's nice to have our guest, Mr. Chip uh, Gordon. I haven't seen you in a little while, but he is the Director of Pastoral Care at the Cancer Treatment Centers of America Atlanta office, uh, Hospital, which is in close by Noonan. And I was impressed because, as you know, I was a former hospital administrator, and several years ago, he took time to take me on a tour there. And I know that from time to time, I've heard people talk about, oh, well, that hospital is not a heliomocenary. It's not a charitable hospital. And I sometimes think, thank God it's not. Because in our public hospitals, the ones that we support, and when we say support, very few cities have hospitals they actually operate. They pay for others to do that. But are they doing the same things? When you go and shop in a department store, do you buy the cheapest thing and go to the cheapest store? Or do you go to some place that can deliver the item or the product that you want? And so having worked in not-for-profit hospitals, I know that they're stretched for cash. And I know that sometimes, particularly and this is no ping at the government, but we know that large organizations, let me put it that way, can be bureaucratic. And we can't seem to connect the left hand with the right hand. And while they're doing all the same sorts of things, why do some hospitals do it so much better? And if being a, a for-profit hospital is so bad, why would they spend on a service that many not-for-profit hospitals don't even emphasize, which is pastoral care. I was struck when I went to the website at CTCA Atlanta, and I found the story, I reproduced it. I hope it's not copyrighted, but I took the liberty, Chip, of putting in the story of Jennifer because for years I have struggled with how do I connect the pastoral element when people are sick when they don't see the pastoral as a need. In fact, when I first began ministry 25 years ago, I had people from Europe say, Father, don't visit my loved one because they think they're going to die if the priest comes. You know, the last right sort of thing. And Orthodox don't even call sacramental usage the last rites because we never stop giving them. If you're sick, if you would trust and let me know, I can not only pray with you here before your procedure or visit you in the hospital, but I also can enlist the support of people in our community that love to pray for those in need. And so as I read the story of Jennifer, I liked her witness. I'm not going to read it out loud, but particularly read this color box to your right when you open the fold. Because to me, this is why I love that place. They integrate faith and religion. In fact, Chip is an ordained minister. They integrate that next to the doctors and the technicians and the caregivers. The challenge is, are we integrating our life to the same degree? What do I mean by that? Well, you're going to leave here today, hopefully fortified by what you just heard from the epistle and the gospel. If you heard Orthus, you heard an extra gospel. You're going to hear reflection on the message, the word of God today. And what are you going to do with it? Are you going to integrate it when you hear that your friends are in need? What about all those people in Afghanistan? Our brothers and sisters who were trapped there and natives there who put their trust in the United States thinking that they would be rewarded by becoming to this country if we ever left. The war needed to end. But we need to pray now that God helps our leaders and the UN, the NATO leaders, figure out a way with the least amount of harm to save the brethren that are there. We've all heard the stories what are we going to do today to give up so that we have time to pray? I don't know how you're going to do it. I know with me, I have to give up whether it's personal reading or some TV time 
or just some nap time, which you know I very rarely take naps because I found that you can get a lot more done, but other people need them. So I respect that. But I believe we have the fires in Greece. We have the um, uh, uh, trapped individuals in uh, Afghanistan. And while we're praying for the Afghanis and the American citizens, let's pray for the Taliban and Al Qaeda that their hearts be turned by God so that they can understand the concept of love and synchrony. Today, I have a delightful lesson planned for our adult religious education class. I'm going to use a PowerPoint <coughs> to emphasize the readings. But as I was preparing that PowerPoint earlier this week, I kept thinking, this is what is happening in our world today. With Mother Maria of Paris, who was uh, uh, sent to the gas chambers at Ravensbrück in 1945 as an Orthodox nun, because her crime was assisting Jews escape Nazi persecution, she risked her life and she taught others. And the one thing about her life that I like is she didn't like the monastic setting because she felt that oftentimes the monastics <coughs> emphasized the individual. She also didn't like the Bolshevik uh, um, paradigm of which you know she grew up in Russia and she had married a Bolshevik She's, for those who aren't aware, she was born in 1891, died in 1945. But she side, decided that she wasn't much interested in that uh, ide ideology because it stressed the masses. Everybody was the same, and we had to take care of everybody. So she saw it as a, as a, as a, a, a spectrum, the masses versus the individual. And she decided and this is our assignment for next week, if you can't come to class today, chapter one, which is the second commandment, which is to love your neighbor. <coughs> and everything she did, she loved her neighbor. And as I was thinking about her life, I kept thinking, this is what we need today in response to the fires, in response to uh, Afghanistan, in response to the Middle East unrest, in response to those who are suffering from COVID, in response to those at the CTCA of Atlanta who are facing the uncertainty of cancer. And we see beautiful witnesses like this. So having stirred your feelings perhaps a little bit, I'd like to complete my task with something I've always wanted to do, is talk about hospitals. But not in the sense that you think. I would like to share with you an important witness so that when we do have guests like Chip and we have people in our parish family that work there. When we do think about hospitals, I want you to sort of realize we're heavily invested in hospitals as a Christian body. In fact, the modern healthcare system in the world owes its origins to people of faith. Christians became the leaders in medicine and the building of hospitals, why? because Jesus was the ultimate healer. He founded, in effect, the hospital at large. He healed so many sick people when he was on earth. The early church not only endorsed medicine, but championed the care of the sick. Even two centuries before Christ, in the rabbinic source Ecclesiasticus, it's not in the Bible like King James has it, but it's in the Apocryphal Bible that Orthodox and Catholic respect. In Ecclesiasticus 38.1, this reminds us that medicine's origin is from God. Honor the physician. From God, the physician gets wisdom. God brings forth medicines from the earth and let a prudent man not ignore them. Now, couple that with St. Paul's language of the church as the foundation and to build on it wisely. We do acknowledge that our forefathers, the ancient Greeks and Romans, did contribute to early medicine. But really the second great sweep of medical history began in the fourth century. So Julie, look behind you. Iulia, uh, Iuliani, I think that's, yeah. who's that saint on the wall? Oh, I should have called Tom. Who's that saint next to you? 
St. Basil. So in the year 369, St. Basil, we know this, did what? He created the world's first hospital in the city called Basil, Vasiliadi. And he created orphanages and schools and nursing homes. But he's credited among the religious communities as having established the first hospital. And from that, the church began to grow in its care. And this emphasis spread both in the East and the West. You might be surprised to know, before you condemn a non-Christian like the Muslims, that after 400 years, the Muslims began to build hospitals. Notice, they're a body of faith, not the faith that we particularly espouse, but they realize the importance to their people. Hospital, continued active, hospital building continued actively until the end of the 14th century because by then, health care and um, medical care was being taught in all the major universities emerging in Europe. By the mid-1500s, there were 37,000 Benedictine monasteries alone that cared for the sick. During these centuries, the Christian faith permeated all aspects of Western life. The conception of medicine, as well as its practice, was touched deeply by the doctrine and discipline of the church. This theological emphasis gave way to what in the modern world we call ethics, medical ethics. Is it okay to clone a human to a pig? People are doing it. And not necessarily just to grow skin for burn victims. <coughs> Eugenics, which is ultimately uh, the recipient of genetic engineering, will one day say, you're not up to par. Goodbye, we don't need you. So we need the church, and by that, not just the Orthodox Church, but all the faiths. And I'm proud to say that the uh, hospital in Noonan uh, that I go to, Piedmont, I, they, they're sort of quiet now because of the pandemic and also the Petri City. But they invite me and other ministers to sit and to help discuss things that might be cutting edge in the future about whether or not it's ethical to do certain medical practices. In the Middle Ages, the church was constantly at battle with who in regards to being caregivers? The sorcerers, the evil people who were conjuring potions, and they believed in the supernatural medicine. And so the church took a strong stand against that. Yes, the modern hospital owes its origins to Judeo-Christian compassion. Look in the cities around the country the hospitals all bear their legacy. St. Vincent's in Birmingham, St. Luke's, Mount Sinai, Presbyterian, Mercy, Beth Israel. Yes, many of these were charitable hospitals. Some actually began because they were caring for abandoned children. Just as in the US, Europe great, had great hospitals develop as well. In fact, the French term for hospital is Hotel Dieu which means hostile of God, a shelter of God's people. In 1863, the Société Jean-Voise d'Utilité Publique, I haven't forgotten all my French, called on a Swiss Christian businessman named Jean-Henri, same last name as the hurricane, well, no, that's his middle name, Jean-Henri Dunant, to form a relief organization for caring for wartime victims. You know what that is? Its emblem is a red cross. And that was codified in the Geneva Convention a year later. In 1967, medicine was still evolving. In London, a facility named after our patron saint, St. Christopher's, was the first hospice facility for those who were pronounced as incurable and to die short term hospice care, originally inpatient, now very much outpatient as well, started in the uh, late 60s of the last century. So it seems natural that Christians should not be naive 
and realize they don't have a stake in what goes on in hospitals. Now let's end with our country. In 1800, our population was a mere 5.3 million. Most of our citizens in the 1800s would not have actually seen a hospital, but they would have heard it. Philadelphia's Pennsylvania Hospital was founded in 1751 by Benjamin Franklin. New York's hospital in 1771, and Boston General opened in 1821. In fact, I looked up the 10 oldest hospitals in the United States, and you might find it interesting that the sixth oldest is here in Atlanta, in Savannah, Candler Hospital in 1804. And one of our own is studying dentistry there in Augusta now, but University, University Hospital in Augusta began in 1818. In truth, the other hospitals were all up in the Northeast, except for Charity Hospital, the second oldest in 1736 in New Orleans. Why is this important? Because I think it means that we need to connect dots. When we have time in our life, tomorrow we're hoping that you give time with our fundraiser for our South Atlantic Golf Classic. Why is that important? Well, yes, a portion of the funds are going to help us build, but we're also returning the community's investment in our efforts with four scholarships. I think I get to meet the students tomorrow and actually have lunch with them. I was invited to have lunch. And I'm excited about that because, you know, that gives me a chance to get a pulse of our community, particularly students in two private schools that are deliberately serving the underserved. Our foundation here at St. Christopher Outreach Ministry decided it was more important to help those who weren't getting enough help. If you really look at life, we are all needy. We all need help. We might need a good word one day to lift us up from our fog, or maybe we need reassurance as we go for our annual physical and we're having to share with our doctors some aches and pains that have us worried. Or what about those who have experienced death and their families, particularly from COVID. I read, uh, it's just been about three weeks ago, an Orthodox husband and wife died within 12 hours of each other. The family, it finds it hard enough to lose granddad or papu and to lose Yaya, the grandmother, at the same time practically is very difficult. So in thinking about today, we're privileged to give the oath to eight ladies that will form the corpus of our Friends of the Poor, Philoptohos, for the next two years. Now we're blessed, I think we have over 40 members now. It took a lot of effort, but we have in that number Orthodox, non-Orthodox, and men. And so we're gonna be praying today for those eight individuals to serve us well but we are needed. It's not just the board, it's everybody. And then as we pray, I think I counted 10, there could be more, but as we pray for these, as uh, CTCA calls them, the covers of love, think about not knowing who's going to receive it, but knowing that the person who receives it has been vetted, is genuinely in need. They did all the hard work for us. All we did was create the fruit of our talent. But seeking to help those that we don't know or need is a whole nother world. And that's why I commend our ladies Philoptos for reaching out in so many ways. This is one aspect. Last week they talked about helping the schools with some of their needs that public funding doesn't provide. So when you think about it, our life is like that of the apostles on the boat. Jesus had spoken with them, then he went to pray, and he sent them off on the water. Now we tend to focus our time on St. Peter only in that story. I would propose that the others are culpable too because did they cheer on Peter? Did they say, Peter, have faith. Peter, focus. Peter, keep your eye on Christ. They were just 
witnesses. It's easy to be a bystander. That is exactly what I'm asking you not to do for the foreseeable future, is to look as the suffering epitomized by Peter sinking in the water because of his lack of faith, that's where we come in as builders of the foundation of the Church of Christ using his love, his mercy, his blessings to us and ways that have been uniquely granted to each of us to work together. And as Mother Maria of Paris says, we're not here to serve one or two people and we're not here to serve the masses. We're here to serve every single person we can. And through the prayers of the Theotokos, St. Christopher, and all of our patron saints, I believe we can and will do it. In the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Etiquette in the Rinitu Kiriu Rei Thomen. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. That ever guarded by your might, we may ascribe glory to you, to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. May the Lord our God remember all of us in his kingdom always, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Let us complete our prayer to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts here presented, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house and for those who entered with fervent faith and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. 
Iper turistini masu fasi slipsus or yiskin dinu kanangis tu kiri yude ithome. Andi lavusos son eleison ke dia filkson e masu theos tisi hariti. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask the Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. For pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. For that which is good and beneficial for our souls and for peace for the world, let us ask the Lord. Tony Poli pon chronon ti soi Simon en irini ki metani ek talese per atu kiriu et i someton. And let us ask for a Christian into our life, peace without shame and suffering, and for a good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. Tis panagia sachran du per avlo yemeni sendok su des mini Simon te atoku per tromarias meta pantu tona yemun af sandes af tu skali lus ke pas antin zoi ni mon Christo te o para thometa. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together your holy, good, and life-creating Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. Let us love one another, that with oneness of mind we may confess. Father, I will love you, Lord, my strength, the Lord is my foundation, my refuge, and my deliverer. Tasthidas, Tasthidas, and Sophia, pros comen. Pistevo i senan theon, patera padokratora, pi tinuran uke jisora ton de padon ke auraton, ke senan kirion in su Christon, ton ion tu theutor monogeni, ton ekt patros geni thenda propandon ton eonon. Fos ek fotos theon alithinon ek theu alithinu, geni thenda upi thenda omousion to patri di uta panda e genato. Τον διημάς τους ανθρώπους και διά την ημετέραν σωτηρίαν, κατελθώντα εκ των ουρανών και σαρκωθέντα εκ πνεύματος Αγίου και Μαρίας της Παρθένου και ανατροπίσαντα, σταυρωθέντα τα υπερημών επί ποντίου πιλάτου και παθώντα και τα φέντα, και αναστάντα την τρίτη ημέρα κατά γραφάς, και ανελθώντα εις τους ουρανούς και καθεζόμενον εκ δεξιών του Πατρός, και πάλιν ερχόμενο με τα δόξης, κρίνε ζώντας και νεκρούς, ούτης βασιλείας, ού και στε τέλος. Και εις το Πνεύμα το Άγιον, το Κύριον, το Ζώπιον, το εκ του Πατρός εκπορευόμενον, το Συμπατρί και Υιό συμπροσκυνούμενον και συνδοξαζόμενον, το Λαλίσαν διά των προφητών. Εις μίαν Αγίαν, Καθολικήν και Αποστολικήν Εκκλησίαν, ομολογώ εν βάπτισμα εις άφεσιν αμαρτιών, Προσδοκώ Ανάσταση νεκρών και ζωή του μέλλοντος αιώνος. Αμήν. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten and not created, of one essence with the Father through whom all things were made who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven. He was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us on the Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. And he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the Creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Let us stand aright, let us stand in all, let us be attentive that we present the holy offering in peace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit.
Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord. It is proper and right. Singing the triumphal hymn, exclaiming, proclaiming, and saying, and fulfilled for our sake the entire plan of salvation on the night on which he was delivered up, or rather when he delivered himself up for the life of the world. He took bread in his holy, pure, and blameless hands, and giving thanks and blessing, he hallowed and broke it and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you for the remission of sins. Likewise, after partaking of the supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Remembering, therefore, this saving commandment all has been done for our sake, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension to heaven, the enthronement at the right hand, and the second glory is coming again. O Theos, O God, be gracious to me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. O Theos, Your own of your own, we offer to you in all and for all. Tasaikton son si proserman katapanda ke diapanda. Once again, we offer you the spiritual worship without the shedding of blood, and we beseech and pray and entreat you, send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon the gifts here presented. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. And that which is in this cup the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Changing them by your Holy Spirit so that they may Amen. be for those Amen. who partake of them for visions of soul, remission of sins, communion of your Holy Spirit, fullness of the kingdom of heaven, boldness before you, not for judgment, condemnation. Give me offer you this spiritual worship for those who have reposed in the faith, forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessed ascetics, and forever righteous spirit made perfect in the faith. Seretus is Panaia, Sacharanti Pervoi, many Sendoks to the Spini Simon Theotoku Portano Marias. For St. John, the Prophet, for the Baptist, for the Holy Ghost, and the Spirit of the Apostles, for the Holy Martyr, Athonicus, Holy Martyr, Athusi, Athanasius, the Hara Martyr, and Bishop of Tarsus, New Martyrs, Manuel, and John, whose memory we keep today, and for all your saints whose supplications visit us, O God. And remember all who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection of eternal life, all of our fathers, mothers, brothers, and sisters. Grant them rest, O our God, where the light of your countenance keeps watch. Again, we beseech you, Lord, remember all Orthodox bishops who rightly teach the word of your truth and preserve it to the act in Christ every priestly and monastic order. Again, we offer you the spiritual worship of the whole world for the Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, for those living pure and reverent lives, for civil authorities and our armed forces, grant that they may govern in peace, Lord, so that in their tranquility we too may live calm and sweet lives in all piety and virtue. Great is the name of the Holy Trinity, always, now, and forever, in the age of ages. Amen. Great is the name of the Holy Trinity, always, now, and forever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Remember, Lord, the city in which we live, and every city and land, and the faith we live in. Remember, Lord, those who travel by land, sea, and air, the sick, the suffering, the captives, and their salvation. Remember those who bear fruit and do good works in holy churches, and those who are mindful of the poor. Upon us all, send forth your mercies.
among the first. Remember, Lord Archbishop Alexius, grant him to your holy churches in peace, safety, honor, and health unto length of days, rightly teaching the word of your truth. And remember those whom each one of us has in mind and all the people. And all the people. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honorable majestic name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. The mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. And with for the precious gifts here presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our God, who loves mankind, having accepted them at his holy and celestial and mystical altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance, may in return send down upon us the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord have mercy. Having asked for the unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo, santificado sea tu nombre. Venga a nosotros tu reino, danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día y perdona nuestras ofensas, así como también nosotros perdonamos a los que nos ofenden. No nos dejes caer en tentación y líbranos de todo mal. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. Through the grace, compassion, and love for mankind of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life creating Spirit, now and forever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Pros the holy gifts for the holy people of God. The Lamb of God is a portion, is to be a portion, but not divided. Every and never constitute the sign to find those who partake. And to Tomika, and the sign of the cross, who shall be victorious. Brothers and sisters in Christ, forgive those who hate us and those who love us. Behold, I approach Christ, our mortal King and God, the precious, most holy body of our Lord God and Savior. Jesus Christ has given me church and will be pleased for the goodness of sins and eternal life. And the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Behold, I 
approach Christ to our mortal King God, the precious, most holy blood of our Lord, God, and Savior, Jesus Christ, has given you towards you and worthy priest for your sins and your life. Wash away, Lord, by your holy blood the sins of your servants who remember to the intercessions of the Thetrochus and of all your saints. Amen. Meta fovutu pisius kegapis proseltete, with fear of God, with faith, and with love, draw near. Meta nabarani oruzutu yorgos, solme temeris vis absimation, kezuinon onion, the servant of God, Elena, the sees of God, let us to Jesus Christ for the sins of eternal life, Amen. the servant of God. Iuliani, who sees the body of Jesus Christ, forgiveness of sins and eternal life. The servant of Petrus, who seeks the body of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of sins and eternal life. The servant of God, Susan, receives the body of Jesus Christ, for forgiveness of sins and for eternal life. The servant of God, Anastasia, receives the body of Jesus Christ, for forgiveness of sins and eternal life. The servant of God, Theodosia, as your child, receives the body of Jesus Christ, forgiveness of sins and eternal life. To the servant of God, Constantine receives the body of Jesus Christ, forgiveness of sins and eternal life. The servant of God. And Elena receives the body of Jesus Christ, forgiveness of sins and eternal life. The servant of God. Maria receives the body of Jesus Christ, forgiveness of sins and eternal life. The servant of God. Elizabeth receives the body of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of sins and eternal life. The servant of God. Anna receives the body of Jesus Christ, for forgiveness of sins and for eternal life. The servant of God, Christopher, Saul Machemus Yusuf Simation, Kezuin Onamin, the servant of God. Juniper receives the body of Jesus Christ, forgiveness of sins and for eternal life. The servant of God, Fortini, receives the body of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of sins and eternal life. The servant of God, Jasmine, receives the body of Jesus Christ, for forgiveness of sins and for eternal life. The servant of God, Paulette, receives the body and blood of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of her sins and eternal life. The servant of God, Michael, receives the body of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of sins and for eternal life. Amen. The servant of God, Maria, receives the body of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of sins and for eternal life. The servant of God, Anna, receives the body of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of sins for eternal life. Amen. The servant of God, Kimberly, receives the body of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of sins and for eternal life. The servant of God, 
receives the bone of Jesus Christ for forgiveness of sins and for eternal life. The servant of God, Anna, receives the bone of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of sins and eternal life. The servant of God, Yorgia, so much more so sad than the servant of God, Alexander, receives the bone of Jesus Christ for forgiveness of sins and eternal life. The servant of God, Yorgia, receives the bone of Jesus Christ. Give us the sins of eternal life, the servant of God. James receives the bond of Jesus Christ, forgive us the sins of eternal life. The servant of God, Eleni, Psalm, Matthias, Jesus, Samatian. Because we know men, the servant of God, George, receives the bond of Jesus Christ, forgive us the sins of eternal life. The servant of God, Maria, receives the bond of Jesus Christ, forgive us the sins of eternal life. The servant of God, Anna, receives the bond of Jesus Christ, forgive us the sins of eternal life. The servant of God, Thomas, receives the bond of Jesus Christ. The goodness of sins and eternal life. The servant of God, Stavros, Soma, Kemistra, Safsi, Matheon. Kezuin, on the name of the servant of God, Kiriakos, Soma, Kemistra, Safsi, Matheon. Kezuin, on the name of the O God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Seen the true light, we have received the heavenly spirit, we have found the true faith, worshiping the undivided Trinity. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and let your glory be over all the earth. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and let your glory be over all the earth. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and let your glory be over all the earth. Blessed is our God, always, now and forever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Let our mouths be filled with your praise, O Lord, that we may sing of your glory, because you have made us worthy to partake of your holy mystery. Keep us in your sanctification that all day long we may meditate upon your righteousness. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Orthi metalavondes ton theon aion achrandon athanaton eporanion kezopion fricton turistu mysterion Axios of Haristi Sumento Kirio. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. We give thanks to you, Master, who loves mankind, benefactor our souls, that even on this very day you have made us worthy of your heavenly and immortal mysteries. Make straight our path, fortify us in your fear, guard our life, make secure our steps through the prayers and supplications of the glorious Theotokos and the Virgin Mary and of all your saints. For you are our sanctification, and to you we give glory to the Father and to the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. And irini pro alto men tu kiriu thomen. O Lord, who blesses those who bless you and sanctifies those who put their trust in you, save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power and forsake us not who have set our hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to our civic leaders, to the armed forces, to all your people for every good and perfect gift is from above coming down from you, the Father of lights. To you we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father and to the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Christ our God, you are the fulfillment of the law and the prophets. You have filled the Father's top of salvation. Fill our hearts with joy and gladness always, now and forever in the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and to the ages.
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. May the blessing of the Lord and His mercy come upon you by His divine grace and love for mankind, always, now, and forever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, O God, our hope, Lord. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Holy Master, give the blessing. May he who rose from the dead, Christ our true God, through the intercessions of his all pure and all immaculate Holy Mother, whose dormition we remember, the power of the precious and life giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, of the holy glorious and praise with the apostles, of the holy glorious and triumphant martyrs of our righteous and God bearing fathers, of St. Christus the Martyr, of our Father among the saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, whose divine liturgy we celebrate it, of the holy and righteous saints of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, who is good and loves mankind, through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy upon us and save us. May the Holy Trinity be with, protect, and guide us always. Please be seated. At this time, I ask for the Philoptohos uh, board members to please come forward, and they can form a semicircle, maybe be about three feet apart, uh, not right here. Uh, we're not going to be able to touch the gospel because we want to maintain some distance, and we will have the oath of office. And to help out, Helen Sihundis, Cynthia Cromarty, Didi Panayis, Becky Butler, Julie Scuteris, Julie Torres, Presbyteria Miranda, and Katie Sahakis. Right. You have to take the mask off, I can hear you. Okay. We have three members missing. Okay. We're going to pray for them anyway, and then if we have another meeting, we'll give their uh, thing uh, privately. Somebody can go there, yeah. Yeah, semicircle. Okay, so our Heavenly Father, we thank you for our Philoptos chapter. We thank you for its members and its leadership through the years. Ever since our founding, we have striven to offer our best to serve those in need. Thank you for giving us endless opportunities to serve. And in the coming two-year term with which these board members comprise our leadership, together with our members, we ask for your help, your guidance, your patience, and your forgiveness when we miss the mark. At this time, Lord, we each of the board offers their pledge in service to you. I, your name, do solemnly swear that I will uphold the dogma, teaching, tradition, holy canons, worship, and moral principles of the Greek Orthodox Church, as well as the Constitutional Charter, discipline, and regulations of the Greek Orthodox Archdiocese of America, and that I will fulfill faithfully and sincerely the duties and obligations required of the Board of Directors of the Philopta Society, so help me God. And then ladies, if you can turn and face the choir, we'll get a photograph. Thank you. Congratulations. Uh, Susan, where are you? Uh, can she get a microphone and then we'll turn over the speaking to her? Good morning, everyone. Um, Good morning. It's my pleasure to be here with all of you and to once again um, be a part of the blessing of the prayer shawls. Um, 
as Father was so eloquent, um, our recipients this time will be Cancer Treatment Center of America. And um, I do want to remind everybody just quickly, our next blessing will be right before Christmas. And we'll be um, hopefully partnering once again with Promise Place for the women that they assist who are escaping domestic violence. But um, I appreciate all the efforts that went into today's blessing. Um, as yarn enthusiasts know, sometimes yarn just replicates on its own. Um, your stash just always gets bigger, um, even though nobody sees the bags coming in the house. And that happened again this morning with our, our table. And um, I'm just so thrilled about that and appreciate it so very much, the efforts and the, the love that is put into the making of all these shawls. It's my um, pleasure very much to introduce Reverend Chip Gordon, who is the um, Director of Spiritual Guidance at CTCA. And, um, and he's going to bring us up to date on what's going on at CTCA and the wonderful work that they are doing to help those who are um, fighting the disease of cancer and um, both those who are winning that fight and those who unfortunately are not. Chip. Thank you, Susan, and thank you uh, for what you do. You know, cancer doesn't wait for COVID. Um, this past year and a half or, or even longer, has been a very trying time, I think, for all of us, uh, but especially for cancer patients. And um, the thing we, we want to emphasize is that, you know, cancer doesn't wait for COVID. And so uh, going to the doctor and, and seeing the doctor and taking care of those things is so important. But cancer ministry doesn't wait for COVID. Uh, and the ministry that you provide through the prayer shawls really does impact our patients. Um, you know, our patients love it when they get to pick out um, one of these prayer shawls that maybe it's the colors or something that just stands out to them. And then it wraps them, of course, in some warmth, but also knowing that God is wrapping them up in his love. And so, you know, I just I, I thank you for what you do. I thank Susan and all of you that have have knitted these uh, prayer shawls together. Um, you know, one of the ministries we have and I may have shared this the last time I was here is a ministry called Our Journey of Hope, where we help churches, we help congregations develop cancer care ministries. We do uh, training, and, and it's, it's free training, free uh, resources that we provide. And it is so important. In fact, uh, because of COVID, uh, we weren't having our trainings, and then we realized we've got to continue to have these trainings because there are more and more people being not diagnosed with cancer, and churches need to know how to minister to them. And so we went online. We, we do our trainings now through Zoom, uh, through a webinar. Uh, just two weeks ago, uh, we had a training. We had churches, congregations from 16 states, plus a congregation in Wales, in the United Kingdom, that joined us. And then our training before that, we had a, a congregation uh, from Canada and one from South Africa that joined us. So uh, it really has become a worldwide ministry. And you have a part in that with what you do in ministering to our patients. So uh, we are so grateful. Um, I always enjoy coming here. Uh, I do confess I am Baptist, so sometimes I'm lost when I come. But, but Susan was so gracious and, and let me follow along. And, and I just so appreciate that and appreciate the work you do. So thank you very much. Thank you, Chip. And we appreciate it. Please convey to your entire staff and the administration and the uh, uh, those that are serving with you, our love and support. Let's please stand. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O Lord, bless these prayer shawls and the servants of God who will receive them. Make them comfort and blessing to their recipients. May they find peace and joy as they wrap themselves in your love and in these prayer shawls. Give them health and strength and show them your path. Take them into your arms and bless them as you embrace children when you visited us on earth. Hear their prayers each day and ever remind them that you are always with them. Make them sleep in peace and awaken in the morning to love you and serve you. 
We thank you for the privilege of making them, for it has been a blessing to us and our families. Help it to be a blessing to the persons who will receive them as well. Thank you, Lord, for blessing the donors of these prayer shawls with the ability to make them for those in need. Thank you for the joy, peace, and blessing they have brought into the lives of those who have made them. These are gifts that have provided them countless hours of pleasure and enjoyment. Now that they have completed their task, we return these gifts to you to use their talent to serve your purpose in the world. Bless each item that they have made so that each radiates your love to the persons who receive them. Likewise, Lord, we ask you to always guide and direct those uh, caregivers at all the CTA, CTCA facilities in the United States. We consider it a blessing to have one of their three hospital facilities so close by. Use us, as Dr. As Reverend Gordon has said, to aid those in need and let the employees and the staff there know that we're behind them. For to you we give glory to the Father and to the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. I know we're trying to social distance, but maybe we could have those because it's nice to see the talent with the people talented. Uh, if we could sort of separate by three feet and make a semicircle, and then if somebody could stand over where Steve Sarandis is, then we could get a photograph of the family before these beautiful uh, prayer shawls, covers of love, are sent out. So does that? Yeah. Y'all can be on the ends. Everybody look at Steve Sarandis there. Yeah, because that's a good angle, too. Thank you so much. I know it's not easy to be here on Sunday, but thank you. Thank you all. We just really appreciate this. At this time, uh, let me conclude with a prayer for our meal for those who are getting ready to eat. Lord Jesus Christ, this is the day of the Lord you created. Help us to be able to not only enjoy it, but as we discussed earlier, to be uh, integral parts of the lives of others in need. And let us offer your best to them through our best. We ask you to bless the food and drink of your servants for your holy always. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So once again, we continue with religious education. Uh, we'll probably start, let's say, uh, is there refreshments today? If they're not refreshments, let's give about 10 minutes. So at uh, 10 minutes of the hour, uh, teachers and students be in your rooms, and the adults that wish to stay are, are always welcome. We're going to be in here, okay? Thank you. Katie's class has anybody she's going to homesick, so they can either go up or down. Oh. I'm just, I'm just going to use this. God's blessings and mercy be with you. It's good to see you. God's blessings and mercy be with you. God's blessings.